Hi guys, my name is Alexander. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I'll teach you how to play accordion and improve your skills from beginners to more advanced level. Please like, subscribe and share videos to help my channel grow. Let's start. Hi guys, in this video I'm going to talk about how to properly set up hands and fingers while playing the accordion. I'm going to dedicate this video to the beginners and go through their potential problems. When we look at our hands, we can clearly see that our fingers are not the same size. We have stronger fingers and a little bit weaker fingers. Stronger fingers are thumb, second finger and third finger. And the weaker one are fourth finger and fifth finger. Stronger fingers will be able to hit the keys and retrieve faster and more often in a certain period of time than the weaker one. Also, they have more possibilities with the articulation and they are more stable. That doesn't mean that weaker fingers cannot be fast. They can, it's all about practice. Another thing has to be mentioned and that is relationship between the fingers. Every finger is tied to a hamstring except fingers number three and four. They have one hamstring. So they can get tired more often and much quickly than the other fingers. It sounds weird, but with proper training, you can play longer and faster with second and fifth finger combination than with the third and fourth finger. The proper way to place fingers on the keyboard is by curving them a little. In that way, the size of the fingers won't matter that much and you'll be able to use them equally. Now, when you place your fingers on the keyboard, play with the tip of the finger, like this. Not like this. You should always try not to break fingers, like this. This means that your fingers are still weak and you have to force them during the practice to stay straight. One way to practice this is to play with strong fingers. Try to hit the keys as strongly as you can. In that way you'll practice strength of the fingers. You can do this as well with the song you are already learning. Now, when you know how to place your fingers on the keyboard, let's talk about your wrist. Wrist is very important because with help of the wrist, you can adjust your fingers easier and play through a variety of different fingerings. It's very important when you shift fingers. Also, as well as when you try to reach a key that is far. It's also helpful when you're playing staccato. Or when you're trying to gently press the keys so you can get a nicer sound. On the left side of the accordion, finger setup is almost the same. Still have to curve the fingers and adjust your wrist so you can reach further parts of the bass. Also, it's very often that when you play the accompaniment, move from one position to another using only your wrist, not the full arm. I hope you liked this video. If you have any questions, comment in section down below. See you next time.